if there were tips for success, everybody would have been successful. There are no tips for success. Hands on, you got to do a million things. Only those who are not so successful or those who are not successful think somewhere if you read ten points in a book, you're going to be successful. Those who are successful, they know, they stand on their head and do circus on a daily basis, okay? <laughs> Only in the parties they stand up straight, rest of the time they are on their head, <laughs> okay? <laughs> we need to understand this. If you want to be successful, don't seek success. What you seek is competence. If you enable yourself and if you do something well, other people will say you're a success. If you think I'm a success, it's foolish, isn't it? You're doing something and you're doing it well, other people in the town or in the country or in the world, people will say, oh, he's doing something really successful. They're looking up to you, that's fine. You look up to yourself, that's madness, okay? You don't seek success, you seek empowerment, you seek competence. You do the best that you can do. You cannot do as well as somebody, but you can do the best that you can do. So if you do your best, if your best is good enough, world will recognize. If it is not, you will be happy. So, uh, what does success look like? What does it take? Well, uh, you know, I know family and friends, who always have their breakfast on time. And after breakfast, of course, they must have coffee. After coffee, of course, they must light up a cigarette and uh, sit there nicely because they're trying to become peaceful. <laughs> and then they will go to work, come back home exactly on time for lunch, eat lunch, rest for one or two hours, sleep, then evening have one tea and then smoke, and then again go to work. And at eight, eight o'clock, eight-thirty, they're back home for dinner and then maybe other things, drink and this and that and whatever. But those who have been very successful, either in music, sport, art, business, spiritual process, doesn't matter what, those people, Never know when they ate, when they slept, when they got afternoon rest. I've not seen such a thing in my life. <laughs> so, uh, those who are committed to being successful with whatever they are doing, one important aspect of their life is they are not settling down wherever it's a bit comfortable. Because comfort will happen when they lower you to in the grave, very comfortable you are. Right now, it's about ensuring that there is profoundness of experience and there is impactfulness of activity. Because if they had given you a limitless amount of time, you could do all those things, nothing wrong, I'm not against them. But they gave you such little time with such tremendous potential of being human, that's the problem. <laughs>